Hi, Lawrence here from Hiv10. So another quick little video on another great Salesforce feature. So today I'm going to show how to display a quick little pop-up banner uh, anywhere you want in Salesforce to help your staff. So in this case, it's a it's a it's a very obvious banner with a large font, red uh, red color. You know, very very obvious. Uh, that basically this account that we're looking at right now has an upsell opportunity or potential. So, you know, let's say I'm a salesperson, I open this account, I immediately see this, and now I'm going to go find out why. Like, why is there an upsell opportunity? Perhaps there's a product we could cross-sell them on. Perhaps one of their uh, policies or, or, or contracts is up for renewal very soon. Uh, maybe they just haven't purchased in a while, well, whatever it is. Now, let me show you how it works very quickly. So we'll just go to the Details tab, and we'll come down here. So I've created a custom field called Upsell Opportunity, and you can use any field you want. You can use a pick list, you could use a text field, a number, uh, like a lead score, anything really. So at the moment, it's set to yes. Now, this field could have been set by a workflow, it could be set by code, or maybe your team is manually inputting it, or any number of other places. Now, if I set that to no, and I click save, what you'll notice immediately is it's gone. So it's totally dynamic, and you can have as many of these as you want. Uh, as an example, let's say they have an SLA, so I'm gonna say this, this company has a silver SLA, and there's also an upsell opportunity, I'm gonna save that. Now we have two, so, uh, just kind of shows you there's you can have more than one and you can also put them in different places So we could have it over here and uh, we could have it on a different tab uh, different colors uh, Different messages. It doesn't matter another example. Uh, so over here. We've got a quote and It's uh, look what have we got? We've got a generator some installation and an SLA uh, Agreement and we can see the total value of this quote is say 170 K all right, well, let's say we want to close the deal before the end of the quarter, so we're going to put a big discount on this generator. So normally runs at 100K. I'm going to push my luck. I'm going to put a 50% discount on this product. Let me hit save. So I put, it, put that in. I click refresh. Now we can see here now that we're getting a great big message that the discount cannot be higher than 20%. So the idea is, uh, again, we can provide information to sales reps as they're working on the quote with information about what they sh you know, should or shouldn't be doing. Now we can also control that in, in other ways, but you know, to make the user experience easy, uh, we can display these messages. And it could be uh, instead of you know, discount cannot be higher than 20%, we could instead say, if you want to do a discount like that, you need to submit this quote for approval first or, or, or whatever you want. And again, if we go back and we remove that discount and set it back to zero, in this case, we just have to refresh the page, that message is gone. So other good examples could be if a, if a tax value is missing, uh, maybe if they didn't add a product to a quote, like you know, if you sell a generator, you should sell it with support or installation. So we can remind the sales uh, the salesperson to add those extra components in. Basically, the idea is to make their job easier. Now, uh, let's have a quick look at how we configure these. So we just come up the top and go to edit page, and you'll see here on the lightning uh, record page, I've got these two items. So I'm just going to click on the first one. And you will see, and it takes a little moment for this corner piece to load where you can edit the text, so just be aware of that. But down here, we've set a component visibility. There it is, it's loaded. So if we just come down a little bit, we can see the field called upsell opportunity is not equal to no. And that's pretty much what it looks like. So uh, you could play with this in a lot of different ways. You could say, uh, for example, annual revenue is greater than, you know, 150,000 as an example. You can use any field in Salesforce to, to control this visibility. Another example over here, if we just go to edit page, and then we click over here. Again, it's going to take a moment for that to load. There's a field on quote called discount, and we've just said greater than 20%. So easy as that. So hopefully you find that useful. 
Uh, hopefully it makes your uh, team's job easier to do and uh, it's useful for them. Have a great day.